OK, so we're going to have a look at this nice formula for the expectation of a continuous random variable, where if you've got a non-negative random variable, you can write the expectation as this integral that's greater than or equal to s with respect to s. So if you've seen the case for a discrete random variable, the proof's going to be quite similar here. Basically, we'll write this, the expectation, as an integral using the definition, and we'll write this as two integrals, change the order of integration, and out comes the formula. So to get started, we'll have a look at this in the case where you've got a PDF, and we'll have a look at the more general version using measure theory at the end briefly. So you need a non-negative continuous random variable, and we'll say it's PDF, it's this function fx of x. So just by definition, the expectation of our random variable x, the integral of x multiplied by the PDF with respect to x over this range of values that x can take. And then the trick here is just to write x as the integral between 0 and x of 1 with respect to our new variable, we'll call this s. So you can just check here this inner integral in the brackets. This is just you're integrating 1 over a region that's x units long. So this inner integral is x. And then we can write this without the 1 and without the brackets. It looks a bit nicer. So we've got the integral where you integrate first with respect to s inside, and then you, you integrate with respect to x. So now we're going to change the order of integration. And this is allowed because of Tonelli's theorem, because we're integrating a non-negative function here. So it doesn't actually matter if it diverges or not. Basically, you'll get the same answer whichever order you like to integrate this in. So just to show what's going to happen to our limits of integration, at the moment, imagine you're fixing each value of x and then integrating with respect to s. So s is varying between 0 and x at the moment for each fixed value of x. But what we're going to do when we change the order of integration is we're actually going to fix our values of s, and then we'll see what values x varies between. And then you can see from the picture here at the moment, for each fixed value of x, the red lines are showing that s is varying between 0 and x. Then we change the order of integration for each fixed value of s. You can see from the picture here, x has to be greater than or equal to s. So x is varying from s up to infinity. And of course, s is going from 0 to infinity just as its overall range of values that it takes. So our outer integral, we're now integrating with respect to s between 0 and infinity. And our inner integral goes from s up to infinity for each fixed value of s. Okay, so we're almost done now. All you need to do is notice, if I write the inner integral now in brackets, perhaps you can see that when you evaluate this inner integral, this is integrating the probability density function of our random variable x over a certain region. So this is just going to be the probability that you lie in that region. So this is the probability that x is greater than or equal to s. Then this is actually what we set out to prove. So we've now proven this in the case where you've got a PDF, that the expectation of x is equal to this integral of the probability that you're greater than or equal to s with respect to s. So I'll just show you really quickly what happens with measure theory. So you might use slightly different notation for this. It doesn't really matter. But basically, the proof is exactly the same sort of series of steps. You apply Tonelli's theorem in the middle again. So you might use a slightly different notation here. Here I'm writing probability x is in dx to show we're, respecting, we're, we're integrating with respect to x over this probability measure. You might write it as d mu or dp, where mu or p is your probability measure. It doesn't really matter. And then all the steps are basically the same. You apply Tonelli's theorem, you rewrite this, and then you show that this is equal to the integral of the probability of being greater than or equal to s. So you get the same series of steps leads you to the formula once again, the more general case where you might not have a PDF.